Hey YouTube, I'm back here with another video on this Young Nuo 568 EX Flash and I've got it attached to my 7D and so you should be seeing this right now, it's off. What this test is going to be is for high speed sync. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this on for you. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And let's see if we turn this on. If you see this little icon right here below my thumb, that is the high speed sync. Now, the way I've got this set up is I'm going to shoot a series of pictures starting at, at 200 and then we'll do one at 250. Now, I'll tell you what. Let's start at 250, which is already above the sync speed for Canon. Then we'll go to 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, and 8000 and show you that it does work. So let's get set up here and let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so here's the 7D and <clears throat> let's put it on the quick menu and then we'll take a look at it. You can see I'm set up at ISO 100. I'm at 1 250th of a second. I'm on time value which is shutter. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do is I've got the flash off. I'm going to take a picture and show you that the picture is completely black so that the only light that we're actually depending on is not the ambient light in this room, not the light there that's up on the ceiling, but that we're going to be counting strictly on the flash to light this scene. So, I'm just taking a picture of this chair that I'm sitting here in front of, and I'll just take that, take that picture, and right there you can see it's completely black. Here, I'll just hit my play button and show you. That picture is 100% black. You can see we shot at 1 250th at 4.0, and I've got one picture in there. Okay, now let's turn the flash on. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to fire another picture. So I'll just put my hand this way. And here's your picture right here of the back of this chair that we're pointing at. So you can see it's at 1 250th at 4.0. And it's the second picture that I've taken. So, that right there alone proves that high speed sync does work with this Young Nuo 568. But, what I'm going to do is, uh, here I'll tell you what, just so you can see it, I'll take it through the quick menu. And then let's go ahead and, and uh, take that up. Uh, let's go to 500. And then we'll, we'll snap another picture. And bingo, the chair's lit up at, at 500. So, there's your high speed sync there. So let's go ahead and, and uh, let's get this quick menu back up here. And uh, let's go to a thousand right there. Okay, same thing. So again, let's go ahead and take our quick menu up. And let's go to two thousand. Same thing, okay. And there is 4,000. And then finally, we'll go to the top of the mountain. And that will be 8,000. Okay, so there you go. Let's go back through these series of pictures here. And I'll show you what we've got. Let's go to the first one. You can see there's the first picture we shot at 1 250th, 4.0. There was no flash, completely black, so the ambient light in here is not affecting this image whatsoever. Now we've got a second picture and you see it's a 250th. Uh, if you know anything about these cannons, their their sync speed for flash is at 200 and that's it. And if you look at that picture, I mean there's no black bars or anything else. So that was shot at 250. That one shot at 500. Identical picture. This one was shot at a thousand. This one at 2,000. That one at 4,000. And that one at 8,000. And you can see there's identically there's no difference whatsoever in any of those pictures at all. So high speed sync most certainly works with the um, with the Young Newell 568EX. And so that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that proves high speed sync is good. So I will talk to you soon. Thanks.